All right, this is one last minute. Welcome back to another episode of the Banished Challenge number three, The Heart of Winter. All right, last we left off, we got all this stuff set up. We got some um, new buildings put down. I What I really want is, oh, well, let's get this guy producing some good stuff. Uh, what I really want is I need an area to wind up producing maybe some more... Oh, some more stuff, right? I mean, I got to get trees in. I've got to get all kinds of really more housing in. I think what I'm going to need, though, is I'm going to need to start producing more sugar beets and more wheat because some inevitably is getting eaten by people. Yeah. Because they're greedy. I don't know what to say, you know? Just uh, we're just hungry. Okay, so let's do that. Let's let's get that done. But before I do that, though, let me change my options really fast. Back down to five minutes. Okay. Um. Let's get these. Let's get these uh these areas planted. And I'm gonna just gonna do like another four or five in this area just to make sure I have enough goods being planted. And they just started planting. Maybe I can get a yield out of this this year. I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna try. We're gonna see what happens. Hope you guys are liking the Banished Challenge, and uh, I hope you go and visit everybody. The links to everybody's dis um, that are playing are in the description below. I think that didn't come out quite right. There are links in the description below to everybody who's playing. I hope you guys join in and watch all of their episodes. Should be interesting. All right, we've got all this down. I, I can only plant one. This is what wheat and sugar beets. Let's do a sugar beet here. Okay, and we'll have two people work it. We'll get two people on it. Good. And we'll get that started and we'll let that run. I want to move. Uh, you know what I really want to do is I want to move this storage over. How about we move this storage up into this area right over here. The stockpile. Leave a little bit of room for some, um, uh, a pathway and stuff like that. Maybe something else over here. I'm not entirely sure what I want to put next to the style tower. But I, I'm probably going to have to... Get another church or something soon. That's what I'm anticipating. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to let these people finish doing what they're doing. We have a lot of work happening over in this area. Remember, we were cutting down this area. And actually, I want to redo this entire town because the way this thing is laid out is not going to work for me. So I'm happily going to remove everything except for the storage. I think that should work well. And then I'll come back and I'll redo this town. Because this town, I can't put trees, unless I wind up terraforming everything, I can't put trees or anything like that down. Okay, so we put in our apiaries. I'm gonna get two people working that. The other apiary's not finished, being built, and the candle maker's not done either. So we'll worry about that as well. Oh, my, my limits, I need to increase my limits. I, I can't have such a small amount of limits here. Let's, let's just bump up all of these limits to something crazy so that I don't have to worry about, you know, ever increasing this in, in this time frame. The tools are fine. I don't want to increase the tools. That's entirely too crazy. But maybe 6,000 for the same with the clothing. I don't want to increase that. I don't think I'm going to have over 350 people. But if I do, I will, I will start increasing that up. But fabrics, we can... Bump up, even though I'm not going to use them. Okay, that should help. That should significantly help. So I don't have to worry about stockpiles and stuff like that. Now, I don't have a huge workforce. I mean, I have, you know, my builders have, is requiring 80 people for builders. And I think I, I need to kind of be realistic and not have them over extended. Because then I'm not going to get anything done. So, but let's look at one other thing once I get this road down. 
Let's uh, let's look at one other thing. I'm waiting to get the yeah the milking barn in and the stable in, but I need domestic animals. Let's see how much the shepherd has produced in domestic animals last year. He did one domestic animal last year. You can only have one shepherd down. I think I should probably move this guy. Okay, our other apiary is up and running. Let's get uh, two more people in there. Let's start producing that. And then we'll also get our candle makers are going. So let's get our candles being built. As soon as our candles can be built, then we can actually start working on this dark mine. I don't know what the dark mine is, but we'll start working on that mine. And we can't produce iron because we don't have a... Uh, or a um, fuel refinery. So how about we stick a fuel refinery... Yeah, right, right in here. And we'll have that working off coal, so we'll have one doing iron, the other mine doing coal as soon as we get some candles built. We needed candles anyways. Our stone is actually getting kind of low, so let's put more people into the stone. That was the auto save. I had to check my time there. Make sure my time was running. Okay, good. This, this is, it's happening. It's happening. Working. Yeah, if I overextend my people, nobody's going to be around to harvest. And yeah, that would be bad. That would be really bad. How's food? Food is 14,000. It's looking pretty solid right now. Uh, I'm actually, while I'm here, why don't we get rid of this part of the road? And this part of the road. I want to move these over. I want to move these fields over. Maybe I have enough room for another field, or maybe I have enough room for some housing. I, I'm not entirely sure, but I want to move those over. We can extend the roads out on that, though. I'm over this way. Okay. Yeah, these guys will get rid of this road really fast. Put this back in there. Okay, and then while nobody is working these fields, I'm gonna move them. I'm gonna rip them out. So that's bean. Let's uh, try to keep track of what it is. So that was a bean. Eleven by eleven. This is going to be a bean. We're gonna have uh, everybody pick it up. This is uh, rock melon. Okay. Well, all right. Whatever. Whatever rock melon it is, and we're gonna go ahead and put it down another rock melon. Very okay, good. Eleven by eleven. We'll do rock melon. Why not? Is it rock melon really? I don't see rock melon on the list. Uh, it, <laughs> honestly, I don't really care what, what goes in here. Uh, hey, how about watermelon? We'll put watermelon in this one. Well, let's get two guys working it. And we'll have these people pick it up. This is supposed to be two guys working it, too. Okay, I want to move this field over. I might have an... Well, if I get rid of these two houses... And probably stick a couple more fields in there. I was hoping to put a couple more fields on that side, but it doesn't look like I'll have enough. Mm, okay, that's corn. Corn is easy to remember. Spinach is easy to remember. Corn and spinach. I'm spending. I'm wasting a lot of time doing this, huh? Corn. Spinach. Up one. Up one, corn, spinach. Forgot to change the spinach. Okay, change that and that. Okay. Oh god, I might, I might move these houses. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. This is the way it looks right now. Deal with it. I'd put a couple houses on the other side, though. Ooh, yeah. How about we think? Okay. How about we think about this? You know, I'm, I, th I'm constantly working on 
trying to uh, realize what the best Uh, option for people is right whether I focus on um, building up some more houses or whether I just have them start working on the goods that we need them to work on but I think it's kind of important that I keep growing my community I mean my community could continue to work the way that it is working and not worry about building it up any bigger but the problem with that is that I'm not producing enough goods fast enough and then probably somebody else in the challenge is like oh I'm gonna have as max a number of people as I possibly can, and they're just gonna be producing like crazy. That's my fear, anyways. And so I need to stay on at least, at least having a couple. Like a couple of, of each, like uh, bakeries or whether it be sugar mills or something like that, having multiple work on it and then have multiple people start working on that as well. I think I could probably produce enough to make sure that I get uh, a, kind of a high number of goods. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be high or not, but let's see if I can fix this, fix this other sugar thing in this area over here. Was it? Uh, it's going to be sugar. That's refined good, right? Or is that under food? It might be under food. I always get these messed up. It's under here. Yeah, sugar house. Is that going to fit by any chance? No. A little bigger than... Well, that's a salting house. Oops. Sugar house. Still a little bit bigger than what I was. Can I put the sugar house side by side? No. Not going to work. I put the sugar house over here. If I put the sugar house over there. It's probably going to block my tree. Okay, so I'll put the sugar house right here. Yeah, I'll put the sugar house right here. All right, let's, uh, I also want to get another windmill in. Why don't we get another windmill in place? And let's get these all figured out. So, that is a sugar beet. This is going to be wheat. Oops. Turn that off. Got two people there. Okay, sugar beet. Let's get a wheat. Wheat, get two people working it. And turn that off. Okay. Uh, let's get this in. Let's do a sh... Ooh, let's do a wheat down here. Get two people working it. Turn that off. Do a sugar beet here. Up that. Turn that off. Uh, this was wheat, right? I don't want to have a... It's got to be a wheat. That's going to be sugar beet. This is going to be a wheat. Oh, you know what? We could probably change this. This is going to be a wheat. This too. Pick up. That's, uh, hopefully I'm not going to have any kind of disease. So just a sugar beet here. Turn that off. And this is not done yet. Okay. People are going to go to work. Good. I have 27 people that are available for working. Which is okay. I should have enough. What, uh, why was this? What is wrong with this? That's a wheat. Two people should be working it. Do I have enough farmers? Farmer, 29. Twenty-nine. Okay, we got enough farmers. Alright, we're gonna need more people. I need to make more babies. People need to make babies! Uh, right, let's focus on baby making, shall we? Shall we? Let's fix this town really fast. I don't really care for how this is all laid out. Get rid of all of this and all of this. Because the way that the housing is, since I have to have a tree, I believe what I want to do is, well, maybe, you know what, I should probably shouldn't have gotten rid of that road. Put this road back in place. I need to get rid of this, though. I probably to try to have right down the middle of this, like this. 
Okay, that's a good place for housing, right? All right, let those guys smack those. Thank you. And let's see, it's just wooden houses. I don't have enough stone to be building stone houses. The stone houses are a lot better for eating. I really can't afford to do it. So there's three. Oh, let's go four. I think this house, even though the front door is... It's kind of weird. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that's going to be the front door. We'll go the best we possibly can. There should be enough room there. Okay. Ton of housing, right? Uh, let's put down storage. Get a stockpile right over here off this side. Make it long enough where we easily have extras. And I need a woodcutter. That's the main thing that I need in this area is somebody uh, producing firewood. Let's get a decent sized woodcutter. Since I have the room. All right, the other thing that I need is are wells. I, I keep forgetting to put down wells, and that's just gonna bite me in the butt here later. Especially if we have a fire, I am not gonna be able to recover in time. So let's put a roadless well here, here, and on both sides of that. And then one down here for safe measure. Because you know, we got the, got the woodcutter down here. How about we put it yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna put it right in front. Okay, good. Good enough. I'm gonna let that area go for a minute or two. Let them do their thing. I think we're, we're looking okay. The church is running out of people. Or is running out of people. It's running out of uh, space. This can hold up to 400. And this would look great down here. Oh, I like this. It's a big giant building, but it'd look really nice next to this tower. Yeah, I'm putting it in. I'm dropping it in right there. And we'll do something around that. We'll 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 make it look good. Okay. People are running out of tools, I just noticed that. Oops, let's get Two people working in here, though I don't have any coal right now. How is this coming along? We almost got enough tools. We're having a hard time with tools. I, he is making tools. He's just not making them fast enough, which almost leads me to believe I need another blacksmith in this town. We'll see what happens. Okay, veggies are going. Yeah, you guys don't have tools. Ooh, we didn't plant this field. We will plant this next time. Wheat, and we'll get two people working on it. Okay, I think I have the maximum farmers. And this sugar house. Let's get two people working on the sugar house. And we'll have them building sugar from sugar beets. Good. I am running out of available people to work. Oof. My laborers are a little bit low. That's kind of dangerous, so I'm going to leave my people alone. I'm, I'm not going to mess with them anymore. I did give them some housing, so hopefully we start having a, a round of children. I, I'm hoping that that's going to happen relatively soon. I do need some people to work on this, this lumber yard. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, 10 and 30, that's a little messed up. <laughs> but okay, whatever. I hope that's uh, a parent and a sibling and not, not a marriage. Okay, some of these are... They're definitely production age. Child production age. And these are going to be all these workers over here. So, you know, we needed these guys over here. We could do another row of housing right in this area. I'll probably have it go like this. This way, and then maybe one going this way. 
Let's see, but yeah, we got we got people coming in here left and right, so we should start having a bunch of children people learn. We have water here. The only thing we don't have is firewood, but we'll be getting firewood here shortly. Okay, we're gonna let those guys go. That's just like watching a pot boil or something. Stone, I put 10 people in stone, right? I could pull some people off of here if I'm having labor issues. It's mainly during harvesting, right? That That is gonna be the big worry, is during harvesting. This is... Ooh, I had enough to build it. Wow. Amazing. How are we doing down here? Good, everybody's getting harvested. We Our tools are out. I don't have anybody working this mill. Okay, he's got wheat. He got wheat. You got wheat. You got beet. You got beat. Good. Refined sugar. That's fine. The refined sugar is going into the bakery. So they're making cookies. Hopefully that's enough to keep that up. Let's see. 8 of 12. We're getting close to this. Did he find anything last year? One. I'm going to move this guy. I can only have one of the shepherds. So I, I want to move the shepherd. Let's get that to be reduced. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to put trees in this area. We'll get to the trees in that area soon. Oh, we have plenty of time. So keep watching the time. We've almost got enough candles to be built. We've got some furnace fuel. We're gonna be making more furnace fuel shortly from coal. Oh, you're making it from firewood. That is probably not a good idea. How about we make this from coal? I have enough iron. Iron is not the issue. Lumber, though, on the other hand, seems to be starting to be an issue. Uh, yeah, let's resolve that problem real fast. Remove these resources. Let's remove these resources. Here. Yeah, we're having a huge tool crisis. Um, let's see. Can I get another? Oh, I probably can buy some tools, right? What What do we have here? This is a farm supplier. He's probably not going to be selling any tools. We have plenty of food. I almost don't need these guys anymore. Sugar cookies, we have a ton of sugar cookies. Wooden statues were good. Uh, stone statues were doing pretty well on. Uh, milk we're doing okay on. It'd be better if we have more milk, but what about a general supplier. Who brings the tools? I think the tools are by the general supplier, right? So let's see here. Let's see if I can find a, a trader that is a general supplier. Let's see. Industry supplier, construction, uh, industrial fuels. Doesn't say anything about tools. How about Dry goods? Clothing tools. There we go. I need a dry goods supplier. Let's see. Can I put this guy in? That was a duck blind right there. I'm going to put him over here. Run a road up to him. Oops. Run a road up to him. Good. Okay. What do these guys have in their inventory? Uh, charcoal. Charcoal, you have charcoal. Okay, so when this gets built, we'll put charcoal in there. Hopefully, we can start buying some tools. Hopefully, my tool guy starts to get caught up, though I highly doubt it. It is the wood that I'm having a hard time with. 
I uh, really need to get some people working down here. Okay, and I put those people in play. God, where are my nomads when you want them? I need nomads badly. I have 26 children. I don't have anybody in school though. 25 children. Somebody just die? Hmm. Yeah, I don't have enough people in school. Ooh. Ooh. All right, just focus on cookies, milk, statue, cookies, milk, statue, and trees. Cookies, milk, statues, and trees. Uh, let's put down the shepherd again. Let's get him down here. I I'm hoping you find something down here. This is almost done, this dark mine. How many people are working this mine? Just two? Hmm. Kinda lame-o. Merchant has arrived at the trading post. Not this trading post. Oh, this one. Yeah, like I said, I don't need this anymore. Frisian cows? I mean, I could buy... Well, let's do that. Let's buy a couple more. How many can this stable hold? 14? Okay. Well, let's see here. That's 3,000. It's 1,000 per... I can really only get three, huh? Let's see. Two. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. Three, okay. Trade. Good. You're automatically gonna go in here, right? Yeah, tell me somebody moves you over. Yeah, there you go. Get in there. Get in there, boys. All right, good. Got a bunch of cows now. Okay. What are we doing here? This is all looking really good. If I could just get some tools in, I'll be in a lot better shape. Timber? Are we out of timber? Is that? Oh, we're out of we're out of wood. We are out of wood. Where can I get some wood? I can just chop all this down. Hmm. Yeah, how about I get a road? Uh, bridge. The bridge in. Let's see a wooden bridge. Four per. Right, that's a big problem because I don't have any logs. Stone. Don't have any stone. Oh, God. Don't have anything! Well, guess what? You know what? Sorry, guys. Taking all this. I gotta take all this. Sorry. Sorry. You guys can replant, right? You can replant. Don't worry. Just do it. We're no longer... Okay, this is from coal. Good. I... That... Is charcoal from logs? Five logs. But that's my problem. That's my problem. I need to get this this built. So I need four more candles before I can get that freaking thing built. Uh, what are you what are you building here? You're doing firewood. Do we really need firewood? What what is this? That's ore. Luxuries. Do we need fuel? Hmm. What does he produce? Two to four, uh, two to five timber for two logs. And what do you produce? They don't really say. Uh, lumber for one log. Um, I'm gonna flip over. I'm gonna flip over. We do have somebody working this firewood over here. Just one guy. So we'll leave that, that one guy alone. We got rid of all those trees. These guys are going crazy in this area. 
All right, and that looks like a good time for me to stop. Well, I appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you so much. Put a like if you like the series. Leave comments in the comments section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.